Warren Buffett says, only a handful of people understand inflation. Well, Warren, you might be right, but I think I figured out inflation at 12 years old. And the reason why we're talking about inflation is because they're saying rent will move faster than inflation in the next couple of years. So you may ask, what the hell does that all mean? Well, let's talk about inflation. And I'm going to talk about my first run in to that jerk inflation. Me and my buddy Joey, we had a paper route, Boston Globe, delivered every morning. So after our paper route, me and Joey would go down to the gas station, the 24-hour gas station in our neighborhood, and what we would do is we would buy a honey bun and a slushie. We did that all throughout the paper route. One day, we went down to the gas station, and the price of a honey bun went from 25 cents to 50 cents. And I was upset about that. I mean, that's a huge chunk. That's a huge, that's double. That's a huge chunk out of my paper route wages. So imagine a little kid making five bucks a week. My honey buns used to be 25 cents. Now they're 50 and I used to eat two of them. So now it's a dollar. So I'm making $5 a week and I'm spending, I can't afford it anymore. I couldn't afford a honey bun. So what I did was, on my paper route, people that tipped me, they got their paper inside the screen door in a plastic bag, rain, sleet, or snow. People that didn't tip me, well, I can't afford my honey bun habit. So if I can't afford my honey bun habit, you're definitely not gonna get your newspaper dry. So I would throw the newspaper on top of the roof, in the bushes, and then eventually they contacted my dad and my dad took away my paper route because my dad wanted me to do the paper route for the $5,000 scholarship fund to college. I'm like, dad, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm not going to college. I know what I want. I want honey buns at 50 cents. So that means I have to make more money. And if you're not going to pay me more money, then screw you. And that's when, that's when I ran into inflation. Now, while Warren Buffett says a lot of people don't understand inflation, I'm going to tell you why. Henry Ford said when he started the, the Model whatever, I'm not a Ford guy, but whatever, the Model Z, whatever the hell they called that thing. He said the working man can afford a car. Every working man in America can afford a car on their wages. And they did. You know, 1901, whenever he made it, 1903, 1918, 1960, 1970, 2020. That same Ford, <laughs> I don't know why you're buying a Ford, but let's say you are going to buy a Ford. It's drastically expensive. A lot of my friends are in the mafia. They said they used to buy a brand new Cadillac every single year for 25 grand. You can't buy a brand new Cadillac every year now. It's a hundred grand. But what have they done to trick us? Why have you not gone to your boss and say, pay me or I'm leaving? That's because companies has taken the Henry Ford model where every working man can afford a car. And guess what? In 2020, every working man can afford a car. If you can't afford the car, then we're going to break down that $100,000 payment to an unmanageable chunk. We're not going to choke you with hundred grand. we are going to hit you at $1,000 a month for five years. We're going to hit you at two seventy dollars a month. We're going to hit you at $300 a month. Oh, you want, you want Netflix? Don't worry about it. It's $15 a month. Don't worry about it. You want a mattress? It's three grand for a mattress. Don't worry about it. 
$5 a month, $25 a month, $30 a month. By the time you, by, by the time you add up all these months, you can't afford anything. But you don't understand that because you're leveraging it all out. So you're putting on credit cards, you're doing this, you're doing that, and you're creeping by. So you're not noticing inflation. And that is why Warren Buffett says the average man doesn't understand inflation. Because if you knew what a Cadillac cost in 1918 compared to 2020, you would definitely go to your boss tomorrow morning and say, dude, you need to match inflation. And that is why you don't know, because they're hiding the, they're hiding the cost, and it is what it is. So you can't afford that Cadillac at $1,000 a month, because that's manageable. Back to rent. And this is why real estate is better than stocks. Do you hear what I said in the beginning? Rent will move faster than inflation. If you can't afford a $100,000 Cadillac, how the hell are you going to afford an apartment? Pfft. Crazy. Let's get this video for three likes. Let's try and get to 45 subs. And let's figure out how to get this money. Because this is absolutely crazy. See you guys later. You know the routine. Peace and love. Peace and love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Six chill, four, four, four. Trying to ride my way. Busy and they keep hating. For a start my day. Smoke now like I'm Jamaican. Trying to ride my way.